All right, you streaming? Huh. So this is Todd Dival here at Silo Sound Recording Studio in Denver, Colorado. And since we've all got a lot more time on our hands, I just wanted to start doing something, anything, uh, make myself useful, valid, however you want to look at it. I do a bunch of tape, and I have people ask me about tape all the time, and there, there's a lot to it. Uh, I like MCI machines. I've got, I've got, um, take a little look, look, see here. I've got Sony MXP 3036 console. Love it. Use it every day. Never failed me. Knock on wood. That's pretty cool if you know what's what. Bunch of API preamps in it. All analog. VU meter. It'll survive a nuclear war. Uh, got an MCI JH110C here. Great, great machine. One inch eight track. All eight tracks are not created equal. This is not a Tascam 3D8. One inch eight tracks. JH24. A 16 head stack and a 24 head stack. Studer 800. Good stuff. JH110. Got got some Atari's. Got four or five other MCI's laying around for slapback and things of that nature. Anyway, uh, calibration. You can't just throw an MRL on and go. You have to know what you're doing. Uh, it's a recording system. There's a console. There's a tape machine. It's a loop. And everything referenced needs to be consistent. And to do that, you have to make sure things are working right and looking right. And your first line of defense with that is your VU meter over here on the console as well as what's over here. So what I'm going to do is show you how to get zero VU reading here and knowing that it's actually 1.228 volts, whatever, and it looks like zero here on the output, looks like zero here, and then looks like zero here again on the input. Real easy to do. And this is the first step. This is before you do any head wrap, you know, anything, any calibration, any head adjustment, uh, anything with the electronics. This is this has got to be the first step. If you don't have this, you don't know what you're doing. It's just that simple. So, even consulting the manual, first step. When no signal is applied to the channel, the meter needle should be aligned with the extreme left scale marker. If the needle is not directly over the mark turn the mechanical adjustment screw located directly under the meter to align the needle. Now, to show you what that looks like, um, here's this. So, here's the mechanical screw adjustment that they're talking about. It's right underneath the, right underneath the VU. And here's what you want to see. That resting right on that zero. There's a little dot and a zero. There's a z zero, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And the meter will deflect slightly if you go, you can't go very far one way or the other with it. And you just want it to rest right there. Pretty simple. You want that to look like that. No signal in. So now, now what I need to do is turn on my oscillator off of my console, send a bus out signal, looking at the line out of my console. I can turn on 1K and here's one K, I got one point three four volts coming out, pretty good. And you can see it there, that's my line output. Line out. Oh, that's annoying. So Trying to not make it so painful. So then over here. Oh, the input. I have it set to input. Input right there. So that's metering what's coming in. It's a little low. 
And I know that I'm sending it out because I looked at the VU meter of what the output is over there. So what I'm going to do is then open up this drawer and there's a little trim pot. There's a little trim pot right down here, right behind the VU, and it's usually blue-ish, right there. And just trim that so the VU reads zero. And then I hit my line input button over here, line in, and then I can see on my VU on the console what's coming back is 1K. I hit line in right there, and then I can look at my VU meters over here. Focus. One K. One K. Turn that off because that's really annoying. And we're back to that. Looks good. You can do that with um, console. You could do it with a signal generator, tone generator. It's more fun with console. It's more fun with music, too. And put it over into Repro. And oh, got music. That music will not be on your machine. It's only on this machine. Dig it. tape. <laughs> and I got a little plate on there. Yeah. Anyway, you can ask questions. Um, I'm going to try bring that down. I'm going to try and make a whole bunch more of these videos because they're fun um, and I'm just trying to get better at doing it because why not? Uh, I'm an engineer here, I'm a producer, made a lot of records, uh, tracked thousands of bands at this point in time, and uh, I'm reasonably decent at what I do, and I've got uh, lots of machines, and right now I've got lots of time. <laughs> I hope everybody stays safe. Dig it. Talk to you soon.